I'm old enough to remember when Kamala Harris was a no-nonsense, straight-shooting prosecutor who talked not just tough on crime, but ridiculously tough. She was practically from Texas, the way she used to talk about being tough on crime. But now she's running for president as a Democrat, and that means you have to play identity politics and go as far left as you possibly can to the point where you say ridiculous things like the Boston bomber should be able to vote. And the tough-talking Harris is doing the exact same thing. Well, she didn't say the bomber should be able to vote. She said, we should have that conversation, which is even worse, a wussy politician response if I ever heard one. As California's Attorney General from 2011 to 2017, she fought to keep people in prison even after they were proven innocent. She defended the death penalty in court. She resisted attempts to get her department to investigate some police shootings. I remember her talking in front of cameras saying, all of this tough stuff, I'm not making it up. And I would tell you to go to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation website to look it up, because twice a year they release reports about who gets incarcerated and all the key players in all the cases. So those reports contain information about Harris's entire career as state AG, and you can see her record for yourself. I would tell you to do that. Except now, guess what? The department magically just redesigned that website and they removed all past reports, thus erasing all that information about Harris's record from public viewing. Yeah, that's right. California just helped Harris disappear her tough on crime record from public viewing. And wow, wouldn't you know it? It's just at the same time she's running for president, laughing about smoking weed when she knows full well that she was attorney general in California and locked up more than 1,500 people for marijuana-related offenses. It's at the same time she's out there saying she supports reparations for slavery when she knows full well she locked up more than 120,000 black and Latino Californians. For their part, the department said the website redesign had nothing to do with Harris running for president. Honestly though, either way, it's mighty convenient for Harris, who is now trying to become a completely different person. Someone should tell her that kind of disingenuousness will not win her at the White House. But even if they did try to tell her, I doubt she'd listen.